My name is Greta Thunberg. I am 15 years old and I'm from Sweden. I speak on behalf of climate justice now. Many people say that Sweden is just a small country and it doesn't matter what we do. But I've learned that you are never too small to make a difference. And if a few children can get headlines all over the world just by not going to school, then imagine what we could all do together if we really wanted to. But to do that, we have to speak clearly, no matter how uncomfortable that may be. You only speak of green, eternal economic growth because you are too scared of being unpopular. You only talk about moving forward with the same bad ideas that got us into this mess. Even when the only sensible thing to do is pull the emergency brake. You are not mature enough to tell it like it is. Even that burden you leave to us children. But I don't care about being popular. I care about climate justice and a living planet. Our civilization is being sacrificed for the opportunity of a very small number of people to continue making enormous amounts of money. Our biosphere is being sacrificed. It is the sufferings of the many which pay for the luxuries of the few. Love is 
I just wanted to feel good. I just wanted to feel connected. Our experienced world comes from the inside out, not just the outside in, as the causes of sensations. I remember a sense of detachment and falling apart, and coldness. I just feel good, so I just follow my feeling. How does consciousness happen? We predict ourselves into existence. We're all hallucinating all the time, including right now. It's just that when we agree about our hallucinations, we call that reality. It's not about be becoming Superman or Superwoman or like these archetypes. It's becoming you, yourself, and superior. In the story I'm going to tell you, our conscious experiences of the world around us and of ourselves within it are kinds of controlled hallucinations that happen with, through, and because of our living bodies. With a greater sense of understanding comes a greater sense of wonder and a greater realization that we are part of and not apart from the rest of nature. The real terrorist is making us believe that we are not able to control our uh, inner physiology. You know, the pharmaceuticals and any other industry, how much they use in, in money for advertising, for brainwashing our uh, minds, making us believe that dependency in doctors, healthcare, pills, medicines and therapies, that is the way to go with health and not look within ourselves. And more to do with our nature as living and breathing organisms. Because nature has the answers. And what they think cancer and depression and all those things only with pills and chemos. Man, 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 man. We take out the villain. We take out the real terrorist. Which is killing right now millions of people every year. And that war we make visible. And that enemy we are going to take down. And bringing back the belief that we are the masters of our own minds.